in my last video I was saying if you understand the power of analogies you are literally gonna be the wisest person in the room so I got another one for y'all water is like money and money is like water and once I start talking you're gonna be like oh shit that is facts so this is nothing new too like I feel like this concept is already out there because uh, you heard you probably heard um, Tate saying water is like money you just need to stand in the right place to get wet right if you ask me that's a legit statement so hold on let me pull up let me pull up my notes real quick my last video was like scripted I scripted it um, but this one, I'm, I think, I think it's more productive to go off the top because I could just pick up the camera and talk. I don't gotta write. If you look at money like water, right? And I'm about to just explain like the whole system because it's literally a whole system. If you look at money like water, just, just, just look at the outside world and look at like what water is. Water is a cycle. Water is a system. Precipitation, condensation, runoff. If you just start to compare the cycles of money to those different phases, you're gonna be good. So, one thing I wanna get across, you heard that? This is, there's a window right behind here. That dude said, oh yeah, oh yeah. But look. There's enough money out here for for everybody. There's, there's no need to be greedy. That's like, just think about it. It's, that's like somebody hoarding water like there's an abundance of water on earth why would you hoard water i mean you can make the argument of clean water like purified water but just taking it take it in a sense of just like like you got the seas you got rivers you got large bodies of water and shit why would you want to hoard water like does that really make sense it's like the same shit it's the same shit with money. There's enough money to go around to everybody. So like, don't fucking put it in your bank account. It's like you bottling up water and just keeping it in your storage. Like just use it and put it back into the system. If you're if you act that way with water, if you just bottle it up and you're greedy with your water, and then you you bottle up the water and put it back or just like put it in your basement and never touch it that money's not yours it's not it's not anybody's per se you got to put it back into the system if that makes sense you got to put that shit back into the system and more is going to come back to you you got to add it to the system more is going to come back to you if you just have that mindset it's just like you're wasting time bottling up water making sure the water is good making sure no you're, you're worried about that water downstairs in your basement that's time being wasted that you could you know allocate somewhere else to bringing in more water you're just it's just unnecessary anxiety un unnecessary like like it it becomes it becomes a crutch it becomes something that you don't it just becomes how should i word this it just becomes a nuisance to yourself and everybody around you I don't know if you noticed, but other people think like this too. That's why you have certain phrases. You gotta really listen to these words when you actually hear them. So you you say you, you hear cash flow. You ever thought about cash flow? Like why they call it flow, cash flow, water flows. If you know which way the money is going and you position yourself in the way of it, you're going to make money. Like you got. You got like vectors, right? I think uh, I took a geology class and we learned how to read like isotopes and all of that. Like water goes in a certain way, right? And if you go that way too, you're gonna make money. If you go that way too, you're gonna make money. And all the little small analogies, all in between, you stand in the way of it, get wet, you can predict where the money is going if it's already headed in that direction, or if a river is headed in that direction, right? If you use that direction, right? And that power from the water, you know, actually going in that direction and make kind of like a runoff river. You could stem off of something that's already happening and create a new branch and use that to power a new way. You couldn't have 
a Ken Carson without, you know, a Playboy Cardi. Or that's kind of, that's a little bit more specific. I don't think everybody's going to understand that. But if you're, if you're into that shit, you know what I'm talking about. You couldn't have Amazon without online. You feel me? Something had to be born in order for something else to be born. You feel me? Like, that same concept applies to, you know, a river going in one direction, flow of money going in one direction, and somebody using that force kind of, like, create a new path. And now, since that force is very much alive, the power from that direction goes into the other direction. I hope y'all following that. You have to know what cycles you have to know the cycles of money you have to know the cycles of you know of like the rain pattern once you understand what cycle you're in you're gonna know how to move what to do uh if you're gonna grab an umbrella or whatever however you want to put it so next time it rains you're ready i hope y'all following along people are scared of thunderstorms just think about it right people are scared of turmoil like the crazy times like the the great depressions or the resets uh whatever whatever you want to put it like the crazy times the markets dropping whatnot right that's equivalent to like a thunderstorm but in a thunderstorm just think about it once you get past the lightning the thunder the darkness or whatever like you you're gonna realize that water is just raining water is just raining and if you're bold enough and if you get past what everybody's scared of you're just gonna stand outside with your hands up just looking at the sky you feel me just like just letting all the water hit you just letting all the water hit you i hope y'all following that just letting all the water hit you so thunderstorms are good turmoil is good when you see red that shit is good when the markers are down, that shit is good. When everybody's walking the other way, that shit is good. When everybody's scared, that shit is good. You feel me? You just gotta get past that.